Well, my name is Gary Sabala. I'm a principal product manager at Symantec, and today we're going to do a demonstration of the Symantec Virtual Security Solution. The Symantec Virtual Security Solution is basically a, an appliance, a virtual appliance, that works on this, the Intel vPro platform. And so if we look at the demo here, basically we have uh, three systems. Uh, the first system here is basically your plain old system, you know, which you might find in the marketplace today, which uh, currently does not have the vPro capabilities on it, or, and also does not have the semantic virtual security solution loaded on top of it. The next system here is the, uh, a new uh, D7 system from HP, or Hewlett Packard, which has the vPro platform on it and also has a semantic virtual security solution loaded on top of it. The, the last system that we have here is basically a, a PC somewhere on the internet that uh, we're going to show is, is able to actually go and capture uh, keystroke logs from a threat that's being installed on the non-vPro platform. So if we go back to this initial system, basically what this demo is going to show you is how easy it is to, to basically get your PC infected today. And so many of us get these spam email messages uh, from, our, from banks or, or, or messages that look like they're from our banks. And because we do online banking, sometimes we can actually be tricked into uh, clicking on some of the links within these spam messages. So this is an example of what we might get you know, on a daily basis uh, from you know, potentially our bank or, or somebody trying to masquerade as our bank. And basically what it, what it, what it is, it's an email message saying, hey, we, we need to go and ask you to log into your online bank account to update some information. And it's really critical that you do that as soon as possible. So of course, you know, for us, for most of us who do online banking, we're, we're not going to take this message seriously because of the fact that you know we like our online bank account and we want to uh, go and, and follow what our bank's telling us to do. So if we go and we we click on this link, which is basically is supposed to bring us to our online uh, login page, uh, immediately we get a, a an error message from Internet Explorer, which you know in some cases kind of says, hey, something may be up, but you know something may be wrong with the system. So, but in any case, we'll go ahead and click through this link. And it basically leads you to another page that says, we need you to restart your session. So if we click this link again, uh, basically what appears to come up is an actual login screen from our bank. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and, and type in our account number and our password. Now, if you peer to the, the, the computer screen on the far right hand side, you can see as I'm typing in characters, Every character that I'm being, that's being typed in is being logged in this remote system. And so what has happened on this machine with the, the non-vPro platform and the machine that's not protected by the Symantec Virtual Security Solution is that a keystroke logger has been installed. And basically what, what the keystroke logger did, it took advantage of a known uh, vulnerability in Internet Explorer to create a buffer overflow, which actually executed the, the keystroke logger code on this PC. So if we do the same exact demonstration on the, uh, the HP D7 platform with the vPro technology and the semantic virtual security solution, uh, and if we click on that same link, basically what you see is a pop-up warning from the semantic virtual security solution saying, we've detected an attack and we blocked the, an attack against Internet Explorer. And basically what, what the semantic virtual security solution did is that it, it did some filtering of the inbound network traffic stream, uh, looked and did did some deep packet inspections, found the attack against the Internet Explorer vulnerability, and dropped that traffic before it had a chance to interact with the browser on the main XP uh, Windows operating system, thus preventing the buffer overflow and preventing the keystroke logger from actually being installed. And so this is just a good example of what uh, ISVs such as Symantec can do uh, by taking advantage of some of the capabilities on the vPro platform, creating some new virtual appliance technologies that will really enhance our ability to provide protection and security on the new vPro systems coming out from Intel.